So today we're harvesting wild fiddleheads. So these are a type of fern that are native to this area, to the Canadian Maritimes, Northern Maine and Quebec. And they grow along riverbanks and in shady parts of the woods. So they're easy to find in the springtime when they're just unfurling. They're beautiful little delicious vegetables, but they have to be cooked. That's important. So you have to take them and blanch them uh, in order to enjoy their flavor. So these are fiddlehead ferns, also known as ostrich ferns. When they're mature, you'll notice that they have great big long fronds and they look like ostrich feathers. So that's an easy way to remember. And I find the best way to identify them is the fact that they grow out of a clump like this. And that clump has a bunch of like black material around it. So that's different than other ferns that may just grow individually out of the soil. These ones are, are always clump based. So you can see the ferns are unfurling at all different rates. Some of them are still tightly closed and then these ones are coming up. So this is too late to harvest, but these ones have a lot of nice little tight, tight curls on them. So you wanna clip this off right at the bottom, use your clippers, and then it's gonna be covered in this papery material. So you're gonna wash that off as you go. Sometimes people will put them in a net and dunk a whole bunch of them in the river at once. You don't want to over harvest fiddleheads. They're a wild plant and you want to make sure that there's enough growing in the, in the environment. So I'm going to take two from this and they're nice little curled up, beautiful. You can see how much moisture and, and succulents is in there. Today I'm harvesting uh, a wild plant growing on the floor of the food forest at the Sackville Community Garden. So it's called Sochan or Cutley Forbeckia. So this is a plant that is not native to this area. It was planted in this food forest uh, probably about 15 years ago as part of a wildflower seed mix. And it grows commonly in the Midwestern United States and around the Great Lakes area, as far as I know. It's a type of Rebecca, so a type of black-eyed Susan. And it's a pretty aggressive spreader along the ground which is okay in an area like this. It creates a really nice ground cover. Uh, and then it sends up tall spears, which has uh, yellow flowers on the top later in the summer. But in the spring, it's quite delicious. So it has a really mild taste. It has these succulent stems that are almost like celery that are kind of fibrous. Um, and it tastes a little bit like a carrot parsley family. It has a really nice uh, mild flavor. I find often spring greens can be either very bitter or very spicy. So when you find one that's uh, sweet and mild, it's a real, a real treat. So to cut it, I'm just gonna go along the ground with a pair of scissors or a pair of loppers, and I'm just gonna cut off the whole plant. Um, so you can see here, I've got a couple of different stems. This is a perfect time to do it because the stems are still nice and soft and supple so I can just chop these up and blanch them and they're not uh, hard or fibrous like they will be once the flower buds start to form. So once they've started to form then it's probably too late to harvest the plant but the spring is the perfect time for spring greens and stems because they're so soft. <laughs> 